This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 17th of October. I'm James Spann. A severe weather threat for West Alabama late tonight. That's the headline here. But boy, today you wouldn't know it by looking outside. Check out the uh, Skycam shots. That's coming from the campus of the University of Montevallo. A cloudless sky. It's just gorgeous. Hard to believe we're looking at severe storms after midnight for parts of the state. There's the Birmingham Sky Cam looking right down 20th Street. Over the south side, the sky there is bright and sunny, and on the Alabama Gulf Coast, just absolutely gorgeous today. Great time of the year to be there. All right, there's a big trough going negative tilt over the Plain stage, and that's going to kick up a big fuss. In fact, already we got some big storms up there. Temperatures this afternoon, not bad. Everybody in the 70s, Birmingham at 73, Tuscaloosa 76. We'll be a little cooler tomorrow after the uh, storms move out early in the morning. There's a look at the uh, developing thunderstorms north and west of the state. You can see the big convective bubbles over parts of southwestern Missouri around Springfield. Those will be extending to the south into Arkansas, Louisiana later this evening, and ultimately rolling into Alabama late tonight. Much of it will be after midnight. Uh, the convective risk for the rest of today and tonight, we've got a slight risk that has been edged into West Alabama now. Uh, that is running all the way from uh, uh, below Jackson, almost down to the Mississippi Gulf Coast, up to St. Louis. Uh, within that, we have the higher enhanced probabilities up and down the Mississippi River, uh, around the Mississippi Delta, Memphis, Vicksburg, Greenville, Greenwood, uh, places like that, cross at Arkansas. And look at the tornado probabilities. Again, uh, uh, pretty significant chance on the Mississippi River Delta. Uh, so our friends from uh, Vicksburg up to uh, Greenville will be watching the sky carefully this evening. And then tomorrow, the risk moves well to the east from the Carolinas up into Pennsylvania and New York. We'll check the rain for the next five days. This is through uh, Monday morning of next week. Of course, all this will be tonight and early tomorrow. Uh, this is showing rain amounts of about uh, one-half to three-quarters of an inch. And uh, after tonight, it's going to be dry for a while. Quickly in the tropics, Raphael, hurricane, packing sustained winds of 75 miles an hour. You can clearly see it's really not a hurricane anymore. It's a, a North Atlantic storm. In fact, I would imagine on the next advisory, they'll drop the advisories uh, that will be meandering about the North Atlantic and no threat to the United States. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty on this outbreak tonight. Uh, this is at uh, 1 a.m. at 500 millibars. This is the 12Z GFS. You can see the negative tilt trough. Uh, very strong difluence aloft. Down below that, uh, the surface low is over Wisconsin, under 1,000 millibars. And you can see the storms beginning to sweep in here. So let's look at the high-resolution RPM. This is uh, valid tonight at 9 o'clock local time. Uh, a line of convection, a QLCS, if you will, quasi-linear convective system, approaching Memphis. But we're still dry at 9 o'clock. No issues here. Now, 2 a.m., the storms are moving into northwest Alabama. And at that point, some of the storms could pack a punch, the chance of uh, high winds, maybe some hail. And again, there could be an isolated tornado. It's certainly in a squall line. It's not going to be a major threat, but there could be one in there and that the, the uh, you know, helicity values are high, as you'll see. But then by 7 o'clock, everything weakens, just a band of showers from near Anniston down to Montgomery, the rain ending in Birmingham by 6 or 7 a.m., and then by 1 o'clock, it's all gone. So the, the showers end very early tomorrow, and the day should be mostly sunny. It should be a beautiful day tomorrow. So basically, we've got a middle-of-the-night thunderstorm event, and then we're right back to dry weather. Let's look at some of the severe weather parameters. First off, this is the storm relative helicity uh, forecast uh, tonight at midnight local time, and the numbers are pretty high. Uh, through northwest Alabama and west central Alabama. So, you know, that is certainly supportive of some rotating updrafts and maybe a tornado problem. The limiting factor, it's this. This is the surface-based instability, and basically at midnight, there is no surface-based cape here. Uh, there's a little bit over Mississippi, and even there, not much. So uh, a fairly stable atmosphere should keep this thing from getting out of hand late tonight. Uh, but, as always, this is just modeling. We'll have to watch for any surprises. Uh, this is the significant tornado parameter valid at 1 a.m. The numbers are highest over uh, Louisiana, down around Baton Rouge, up toward Vicksburg and Jackson. That's where the better instabilities will be. And, again, there's no doubt there might be a you know rotating storm up in here initially over north and west Alabama, but the main threat would be from strong straight-line winds, I'd say from about midnight until 3 a.m. After 3 o'clock, they'll just have a band of weakening showers moving through uh, central in East Alabama. So we'll stay up late tonight and watch things carefully and see how it plays.
plays out. Uh, and then during the day tomorrow, it's just going to be gorgeous. Sunny weather with a high in the low 70s. Uh, this is Friday, another uh, great day. Uh, bright sunshine. Temperatures will be in the 40s to start the day. The uh, high Friday afternoon will likely be in the uh, oh low 70s. Uh, the Let's see, the GFS is showing 71 on Friday. Saturday as we start the weekend, just beautiful. Cobalt blue sky. Highs, low 70s, early morning lows in the 40s. And the same thing on Sunday. 40s to start the day, highs in the 70s. We stay dry most of next week. There's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So nice, quiet weather after this quick-hitting batch of storms tonight. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is November 2nd. Ooh, things are getting interesting here. Uh, polar vortex over eastern Canada, a trough. And look at the snow potential if this is right over the plains. Of course, you know, this is voodoo. I mean, this is going to change on the next run, but this might suggest some snow in places like Oklahoma City and Wichita and Kansas City, like the big snow if that's right. And uh, who knows? Look at the European. This is valid on the 27th of October. Look at the cold air flooding down into the northern and central United States. So a little evidence uh, we might try and turn kind of cold at some point down the line, late uh, October, early November. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.